Microsoft Word provides multiple ways for viewing your documents. The most common way to view your document is using print layout view and this is the view that you're seeing right now with this document and it gives you the sort of what you what you see is what you get kind of um, view so you get a sense of what your final document is going to look like. It's, it's certainly the most common way um, to write. Um, this view allows you to see um, exactly what's going to be printed. Um, when you begin to organize your thoughts and want to start writing your paper, you may wish to use outline view. Some people like to outline their documents prior to writing them. This is a great feature that allows you to structure your document before you start. Um, outline view allows you to create an easily modify and modify your document structure. You can also use outline view after you've written your document to help reorganize your content as long as you've used the styles to tag your headings properly. Um, and we'll talk a lot more about styles in the writing chapter. In this demonstration, I'll create an outline of my document using outline view, and I will make um, use of the outline view to move the contents around in the document. In Microsoft Word 2010 um, for Windows, there's two ways to switch into outline view. You can either click view at the top um, and click outline to go to outline view, or at the bottom of the window, there's um, just a little quick link here that's available all the time on outline, so you can just click outline view. Um, what you're seeing now that I'm in outline view are these little dots that indicate that this is body text. This means that the text that's in the document is not a header, it's body text. Let's add some headers. I'm going to do this based upon a document that I've already written. So it starts with an introduction. That's going to be a heading one. And so if I click this little button up here, that's going to promote that to a heading one. It's going to start at heading one. This little button over here demotes it to body text. And then these two um, allow us to shift between different levels. There's no, no, I have nothing under my introduction, so I don't need that there. And then I have like a data preparation chapter. Um, this chapter's got subchapters. One trick to make it nice and quick is if I hit the tab key, that gives me a sub. So I went from heading level one to heading level two. So I can just do type in here narr narrative and academic report. Okay, and then if I want to go back, I can actually do shift tab, which will bring me back. I could also have used these buttons up here to promote and demote my headings, but it's just as quick to do it that way. And if I wanted to say descriptive statistics and maybe by bivariate correlation, um, and then I'm going to do structured equation modeling. And finally, um, multiple regression. Okay, and then I'm going to add, say, under instruction. Oh, okay, let's fix that spelling error. Here we go. Under structured equation modeling, I want to add some body text. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to click this button here to say, hey, this is body text. And now let me go find some body text for this. Okay, so here we go. I've got a sentence over here that I'm just going to copy in so that you don't have to see me type. So I'm going to paste in just keep text only and I've pasted in some body text. Um, now what I want to show you is the collapsibility of the structure. So right now if I click the plus, anything that has a plus, I can click it and what will happen is it will collapse and then when it collapses it gets this little underliney thingy. That little underliney stuff tells me that there's something under it. So for example if I collapse data preparation it will also do that. Now I'm still seeing different levels here because I'm still seeing some body text at the top and some higher level stuff. If I only want to see my headings, I can go to the show level button here and say if I only want to see level 2 headings. So this will show me level 1 and level 2 headings. If I click here, I can see all of the level 1 and level 2 headings in the document. You can still see the area where there's text underneath the structure and equational, structured equation modeling. Um, when I'm moving around, if I, if I look at this and I go, hmm, uh, this doesn't make sense. I want this to be a sub of that or something like that. Actually, let me add a couple more heading twos here just to give, show, show this demonstration a little bit further. So if I add a narrative here, narrative, and an academic report here. Okay, now I still have multiple things, multiple things, but I want to move things around at level one. So what I'm going to do to make this yeah, easier is to move it to level one. So now you're only going to see the level one things. And you can see that some of them have some sub things under them. If you want to do 
reorganization of your document at this level, you're best to view it at the level that you want to reorganize it so that everything under that is automatically lumped in. So now if I realize, hmm, structure and equation modeling really belongs after multiple regression, I can just highlight that and click and poof, it moved. But now when I look at all levels, if I go all levels, view all levels, you'll see that the text that I had created for structure equation modeling also moved with it, as did the um, the subheadings for narrative and academic reports. So, what we, But what was important for that is that I actually collapsed it first before I moved things around. And by doing that, I can reorganize my document quite quickly. Um, when I'm finished organizing and I have my document the way I want, uh, structurally the way I want it to be, I'm going to pop back over into print layout to write things and organize th things in print layout. And so when I go back to print layout view, you can tell that I see the document just like it's going to look when it's been printed. And that is outlining.